Hello, my name is Axel Barr. I'm the Global Marketing Manager for Mining for Draga. We are here in Bogota, Colombia, 2019 for the International Mines Rescue Body Conference. Our goal here is to learn from our customers and share their experience with you. Uh, technology is very important for underground mine rescuers. Um, it'll help the management team on surface to know in real time what's going on underground. So the more technology we use underground, the easier it will be on surface. I would say the stress um, while underground, uh, you know, in the black smoke or in, in the underground workings, um, trying to make sure that they're, they're do, accomplishing what they need to do. And when you're under oxygen, um, there's that added, uh, how should I put, um, stress on them. So they need to be totally comfortable with it. Um, the mines are getting bigger and bigger. Um, you know, the equipment's getting a lot bigger as well. Putting up a seal in an 8x8 mine in the past was an easier task than a 5x5 five by five meter, uh, by five by five meter opening now. So the work that they have to do is a lot harder, um, a lot more complex. Uh, ventilation, for example, is a lot faster, a lot quicker, and to try and stop that, um, the technology has to be there to help them out. Probably the biggest thing is simulated type training, where teams actually go in, practice a scenario, practice it, uh, debrief after it, and practice it till they can get it uh, to the point where they're very comfortable in doing it. Right now, the turnaround is fairly good, but uh, considering that a lot of mines are remote, uh, far away, Having equipment um, come from the factory or from a supplier takes a little bit longer. So to ensure that we can have 24-7 access to the equipment uh, in the south, as we say, would be a great idea.